Yeah, 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 YouTubers, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Right now, we're going to get into this catfish clean and filet joint that's going on. Do a little cooking, you know what I'm talking about. Get a few catfish nuggets. And uh, thanks for you who are already uh, subscribing to the channel. Appreciate the love. Let's get started. All right, all right. Right now, I'm going to show you how I clean catfish. Uh, used to do it the old-fashioned way back in the day and uh, nail them to a tree. But now we just fillet them. First thing you got to do, you see... I got my board right here, my cut board, my flay board. Ain't nothing but an old shelf from a, um, whatever you want to call it, an old shelf. Got me a bowl of uh, salt water here, nice and cool, so I can use that. Main thing that you got to have, you got to have you some good fillet knives. A couple of sharpeners, make sure your knives are sharp. It's going to make a big difference on what you do. All right, down here, I got my disposal bag. That's what I'm gonna throw my, the heads in and the tail. Well, you know, once I cut the fillets, the rest of the body scraps, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna cook, cut up some of these joints right here. See these babies right here? These are some of the ones I caught uh, a couple of days ago. Still got them on ice right there. Fillet a couple of those to show you what the deal is. All right, let's get ready to get started. All right, all right, first thing I like to do, I grab one out the cooler there. I like to kind of rinse it off a little bit. You know, still gotta watch out when you grab this because these suckers here, they do hurt if you ever get stuck by one. But I kind of use them to hold the fish. If you notice how I got my finger up under the fin, kind of use that to hold the fish as I'm filleting. All right, if you feel your fish, Right in here, you're gonna feel like a soft area. Then you're gonna feel like a rib cage right up in here. So I'm gonna take one of my trusty fillet knives, feel where that rib cage is, all right? And I'm just gonna cut. See how I made that cut? Right there by that rib cage, all right? Now I'm just gonna take that knife. gonna follow that joker down. All right, see that nice fillet right there? I'm gonna flip him over. Basically kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna cut behind that rib cage. I'm just gonna take that knife all the way down. See that right there? Those are two decent catfish fillets. But I'm not done yet. Let me show you what's up. All right. I'll just take the rest of that body. Remember my discarding bag? Toss that in. All right. I'm gonna get the slippery off my hand. All right. The trick to this is. First stuff like this, I like to, I like to cut that stuff off. That's a nice little trim. All right, I'm gonna bring this up, see if I can show All right, and see, got my fillet. All right, and what I wanna do, this is why you gotta have a sharp knife. See, I'm just gonna run that knife. See that right there? Just gonna run that knife right along that skin. See that right there? Just separate that. It's just skin. Got to go. Got to go. All right. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna throw it in my salt water bowl. Once again, I'm just holding this little area down here. All right. I'm gonna be able to see that real good. And I'm just gonna take my knife. Hold it. Ah, I hate when I do that. That's why I gotta keep that knife pointed down. Keep 
this other part that I'm still gonna get that. And I just trim away, you know, a little skin and stuff. And that's basically how you do it. Now you just got like skin left. All right. I'm gonna do one more for you right quick. This big joker right here. See this big baby? You like before? Like I said, I like to rinse mine off a little bit. sticking up. And if you don't like those fins, you can actually take these side cutters and just cut them babies right off. Like I said now, they will hurt you. They will hurt you. This one got kind of a deep rib cage. I feel it right there. Alright. I'm going to take me a, let me see. Feeling right in there. Let y'all see that one more time. It's kind of a big baby there. See how big that baby is right there. All right. Cut behind right there. Just like I caught him in the gut. And I'm just going to run that filet knife all the way down. Ooh, look at that big pretty meat, y'all. Look at that big pretty meat right there. I'm going to flip them over. Cut behind there. All right, got my knife in. I'm just gonna bring my knife right down there for that. Look at that, nice big filet. That's my scrap of the fish, should go on the way. All right, that's all I needed from that fish. Let me show you this one more time. Get the slippers off. Because believe me, I'm trying to keep clean catfish. We can get a little, uh, little slipper there. A little, 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 little slipper there. All right. First thing I want to do, I want to cut that off right there. That ain't going to do me no good. You know, you just... That's a piece of fin. All right. That was pretty good. Put that off. All right. Once again, do this right because I have to make sure. Like I say, got to make sure I got some grip with my baby. All right. Once again. Take my fillet knife. I'm just gonna run along that skin. And I'm gonna hold it. Keep my knife kind of pointed down. As you can see, I'm up on that skin. I'm just holding it. Just let my fillet knife do it. Look at that. There's your skin. Same thing. I'm just holding the tip. Where am I like? Oop. That's what I meant by the slippers, people. That's why you got to be careful when you're doing this with catfish or any other fish. You can actually do your bass, everything like that the same way. Like I said, just hold that skin. For safety, always cut away from. See, nothing but skin. Some tough skin, too. Always cut away from your um, from your hand, just for safety. You know, ain't nothing like catching.
cleaning, skinning your own catfish. Because catfish is expensive, people. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some of you already know catfish is very expensive. You know, a lot of people don't like to taste the catfish because they talk about um, they got a muddy taste or whatever. They say, Let me show you a quick way to eliminate that. You see this area right here? This little red area? That's what they call the mud vein. Usually when you get that taste, it comes from that. And you'll see it in most of your catfish. You'll see the mud vein. You really want to get rid of that. Just take your fillet knife. And cut it out. See that? And basically what you create now. See? You just cut it out. Cut it out. Now you've made you some catfish strips here. All right. So we're gonna go along. We're gonna do the same thing with this. This is why having a sharp knife is very important. Cut it on out. Come along the same way. Gentle and slow. All right. Cut out a little more then. Some more catfish strips. All right, I already showed y'all my, my bowl with my salt water. I like to let mine sit in some salt water for a little bit. Okay. All right, y'all get it? Good. Hey, thanks again, once again, YouTubers, for tuning in to the channel, Catfish Cousin. Hope you liked the video. Hope you learned a lot. Main thing, just be safe, especially if you have a real, real sharp fillet knife. All right, hope you enjoyed those pictures of that catfish frying up. I know it ain't no joke. Tastes great, too. Y'all be blessed. Peace. All right, all right, all right. Making it real simple. All right, <clears throat> this is some of my catfish I filleted. I got the uh, the old base seasoning. You know what I'm saying? In case you don't know what that is. All right, this is old bay. You got it. This is old bay seasoning. Got my seasoning. All right, come on down here. Let me show you what else I'm using. Hold on. All right, you guys to have the Louisiana joint, New Orleans style fish fry. All right, you know how we do it. That's why we keep food line bags. It's a black people thing. All right, we keep them bags just for stuff like this right here. All right, now here's the pan. Here's what we got it going on with the catfish. You know what I'm saying? Frying up some good old catfish. That's how we do it right there. You know what I'm saying? That was the catfish you saw me on, catch on uh, the last outing. And then cuz, catfish cousin. So that's how you do it. You've already seen on the channel how to skin it up. Once you skin it up, obey. Ready. Got your bag. Then your frying. All right, peace. Appreciate y'all later. We are cooking it up in here. See, I got the steaks fries in the air fryer. That's right. Steaks fries in the air fryer. We're cooking up the catfish over here. Look at that. Don't that look lovely? Cooking up some catfish over here. Oh, yeah. Look at that catfish smell. Right there. This is why they say teach a man to fish. You teach a man to fish him, or should I say he and his family will never go hungry. As long as I know how to fish, thank you my grandfather, John Arthur West, and my grandmother, Kiora West, 
my family will never go hungry. Peace.